it, people. Fucking the end of the world's coming. Look how horrible society is. Look how horrible the fucking world is. God, just go down the fucking list. Look, cops shooting innocent black men. Black men shooting cops. Black lives matter. Blue lives matter. No lives matter. Al-Qaeda. ISIS. The French getting slaughtered in nightclubs. Also by trucks. The world is going to hell, people. And you can't see it? Fuck! No, it isn't. And how about time for some facts, all right? Truth is, the world has never been more peaceful than it is now. Now, you might argue with this. Say, well, you're full of shit, you dumb Satanists. Fuck it, it's going to hell. Let's, let's try it. Let's try a little history. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit of a history buff. Now, I was I was around during the Cold War. Okay, Cold War ended in 1991. Now, it went on roughly from 47 to 91. I was born in 1960. All right, so for the first 31 years of my life. I lived under the threat of nuclear annihilation. Now, some of you remember this. Now, of course, we didn't all walk around just panicking constantly. But there was something in the back of your mind. You know, there was that little something back there thinking, you know what? We could all just be wasted in the next minute. We might not be alive one minute from now. Because they're not necessarily going to warn us if, if, I don't know, the Soviet Union was about to drop nukes, especially in, in large cities. I, was, I grew up in San Francisco and, and the Bay Area, and that was a target because you had ma major naval yards and so on and so forth. So definitely San Francisco would have been targeted, and that would have been it. When I was a kid, you saw these signs, what they, the fallout signs, fallout shelter signs. You know, they were on buildings and they'd let you know that's where you can go if you see the flash, you know, and it was time to duck and cover. No, there was no, there wasn't surviving it. No fucking way. You were, you know, if you were right there in a major city, no, you were gone. And if you were on the outskirts of a major city, you were going to die slowly. You were better off dying quick. Now that's just the cold. And how about the 1960s? Take the single year, 1968. Martin Luther King is shot and killed. Bobby Kennedy, who was running for president at the time as a senator, running for president, was assassinated. You had the uh, Democratic Convention, you had riots going on. You had the Vietnam War going on. Not a very pleasant, not, well, no wars are pleasant, but Vietnam, I mean, there was a big question mark over the heads of those individuals forced to go to it. Nah, the 60s weren't a pretty time either. Also in the 1960s, you had race riots. You, you think Black Lives Matter types, you know, just blocking traffic is a big deal, hell. Shit. That's nothing compared to race riots in the Now, let's go back a little further. Let's go back to World War II. World War II started in 1938 and went, till, it went until 1945. In those years, in those seven years, 60 million people died. 60 million people. The Afghanistan war has been going on for, what is it now, shit, 12, 13, 14 years, whatever. 
roughly 2,000 Americans have died. Now, I'm not downgrading their sacrifice, you know what I mean? That's not my point. It's just the world isn't as horrible as you might also, think. Also, go way back. World War One. World War One was atrocious. What an atrocious fucking war. You still had people who had that, let's say that Napoleonic battle mindset, for lack of a better description, where you went off and you marched nobly out onto the field while you got fucking plowed down by machine guns or run over by tanks, because these things are relatively new. But these generals still had this old mindset. And what about the Civil War? A war where states fought states. Think about it, people. States fought states. Everyone who died in that war was a fucking American. Brothers killing brothers, cousins killing cousins. They, they, sh the bullets they used back then were these, were these lead balls. They were like little cannonballs that would rip half your fucking head off if you got struck by one. World war was fucking atrocious. <laughs> you, you had people marching into battle, getting mowed down. Bodies would pile up. Truth is, you are lucky to be alive right now. The world is not that horrible place you think it is. Quit looking for that fucking cause that you can be a self-righteous cocksucker over. and learn a little about history.